So you want your mouse to stop double clicking. You don't know how to. You might have heard about DC Prevent, but you also might have heard about my video that I made on DC Prevent, basically showing why it's broken. <coughs> well, you're at the right place. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change the rebound style from your mouse to whatever fits your mouse perfectly. And it works with any mouse at all. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download this software. The software is called X Mouse Button Control. The link for it will be in the description. So once you click on the link, you basically be redirected to this page. From now, all you have to do is click latest version and then the software is gonna be downloading. Once it's finished installing, you can simply open your download files and double click on this right here to start installing it on your computer. Now, I won't do it because I already installed it, but it's pretty simple. You open it, you accept, you install it, and that's done. Now, once you're done with that, you're gonna have this app on your computer. Simply double click on it to open. Then you can go into this right here. It's probably gonna be in another language for you, depending on what language you choose. As you can see right here, you can change in um, advanced settings. You can basically change the, the bounce time right here, put it, put it to whatever you want. By default, it's gonna be at 1ms probably. Now I'm gonna go into what debounce time you should choose for your mouse in particular. All right, so for that, we're on this website. This website is called codepen.io. Basically, the link is gonna be in the description also for that too. And basically, once you get on this website, you just have, basically you'll be like right here. You just have to go down to right here. By default, Right here is going to be written 0 0.08 for 80 millisecond. Basically, you don't the only thing you have to do, because 80 millisecond is way too high, uh, you won't be setting your debounce time to 80 millisecond. Basically, what uh, I recommend doing, just like to start off, is put it at 0 0.05. This is basically the same debounce time as DC Prevent by default. All right. So now that you set it on 0 0.5, as you can see, you can basically just click however you want, just butterfly click or just click simply. And as you can see right here are all the clicks that are going to be registered into your software. So here is the number and here is all the click that are actually going to get deleted if you put your debounce time to 0 0.05. So basically to know what debounce time is perfect for you, just do like, just, just butterfly click like one time. As you can see, okay, I got three clicks. So my free click happened in like two milliseconds. You, you know, this is the first click simply because it has a two in first. So it's like a, it happened in two seconds. So as you can see, the second click happened in 20 second millisecond and the third click happened in 45 millisecond. So that's why the, the counter registered two double click, even though this click wasn't actually a double click. It was a legit click. And the reason for that is because the way that the software uh, DC Prevent is made and like all the software is basically so that it deletes every click that happened under 50 millisecond under the click that was be that happened before. So like with DC Prevent, this click would have been deleted because it happens 47, 45 millisecond after the double click because there is like a little bit of a gap between the double click and the normal click. It might be a bit confusing, but you don't have to remember that. You can just simply set it for you. All right, so basically we know that we just have to make some tests to see what's the gap between the normal click and the double click. So we're just gonna reset it, click one time. Okay, and you can see this time uh, the double click happened in 0 0.032. And so basically you can just like do some tests like this and see, oh, ter this time it happened in 32.99999. So basically if I set it to 33, normally right here, it should be good. So I'll just set it to 33 now, reset. Okay, so now I'm gonna click exactly 10 times butterfly. All right, so as you can see, 14 click got registered, but four double click got also registered. So if we do 14 minus four, it gives me 10 clicks, just like I should get. So you can just test it a bit more, like just do 10 clicks. All right, as you can see now. Okay, so I can, as you can see, just as an example, this time I clicked uh, 10 times again, 27 click got registered, but eight click got registered double click. So basically, I'm actually losing one click right there. 
But that's the best you ba can basically do. Sometimes you also get more and more click that like one double click that just go through for some reason. But that's that's really the best you can do because like this the software is not actually perfect. It's not made for your mouse. I'm just showing you how to set it as perfectly as you can. All right, so as you can see again, I lost actually one click, not that bad. Oh, okay, so this time I would actually gain two clicks. Okay, so this time I lost two clicks. Okay, so this time I actually lost one click. So you can see it's it basically like, it's like you lose one click, you gain one. It's always a bit like that. Sometimes you get a perfect two. But yeah, this is, there's nothing like too perfect about it. So as you can see, okay, so I clicked this five times. Yeah, four click deleted. Let me just click ten times this time. Okay, so as you can see, click ten times, so I should get twenty clicks. When you do thirty minus eleven, I only get nineteen, so I lost one click, which is not that bad, honestly. On thirty click, way better than what this everyone would do. So basically, as you can see, we can just like look at the time between clicks. So basically, this is my first click. I've been in 39 seconds. This is a double click. That got deleted. That would get deleted since it's under 33 milliseconds. This is a normal click. This is also a normal click because I didn't get a double click this time. Then this is also a normal click. Normal click, normal click, normal click, normal click, double click. That got deleted because it's under 30 second. Uh, 30 milliseconds, actually. Sorry. This is a normal click again. This is a double click. So this is 26 milliseconds. Normal click, double click, normal click. Again, normal click, double click, normal click, normal click, double click, normal click. So basically, you can see it's basically how, that, how it works. I think there might be, so there's gonna be like one click and all of that, that's gonna be a wrong, wrongly like, just because it just happens like one time, one click will be, will just happen really too fast, but it's really rare. And all right, so we're ready to set the the mouse time at the right thing we need to do in the X mouse button control software. So basically, I'm normally you would set it at 33. Um, sorry, it went too far. But I did some t uh, some tests with this. Basically, I found that when I put it at 33, I get way too many clicks deleted just because I think there's like a latency or something. So basically, I found that putting it at 32, 31 is like more correct because I found that like when I put it at 32, I still sometimes like lose five click up to five click out of 20 which is a lot. So yeah, I, I if you put it two milliseconds down, you shouldn't get too much, uh, too many double click, but also you shouldn't get too many click deleted. So I'll just do okay. You can you click on apply here and then you can, you can, you don't even have to keep that open. Also, if you play scrims or sometimes something that like for which you need to be assessed, you basically will need to close the app. You cannot keep it open during the scrim. Because the app can also be used to cheat. That's why you really need to close it. So yeah, as you can see, the app is closed, but it's still gonna work. So basically, I'm just gonna show you in a CPS test right now that this is working. All right, perfect. We are on the CPS test. And as you can see right now, I'm gonna click. And as you can see right here, my click went down a lot and I lost pretty much all double clicks. So yeah, with all that in mind, you should be able to set it for yourself. Remember, it is not necessarily going to be the same as me. It's different with every mouse, but I give you all the information you needed to set it for yourself. So without further ado guys, I wish all of you a great weekend and see you in the next one. Peace.